all right then in this video uh, we will make the animation of the Fourier series and this is the graph we will be trying to plot on the canvas using the JavaScript so you can see the equation for this uh, one circle is given as 4 sin theta by pi when we have two circle then the equation is 4 sin theta by 3 pi and when we have four circle then it is four times sin 7 theta by 7 pi and this is the graph we will try to plot this graph onto the canvas using JavaScript but this time I will use the electron JS as a project for the desktop as a desktop application and there we will render this animation so in this video you will also learn how to set up the electron JS project as a desktop application in your system so let's begin that so before you proceed uh, let's make sure you have installed the node.js in your system you can go to the official website here and you can download the particular node.js and you can install in your system once you have installed that you can check the version by the command line that is uh, node double hyphen version and it will give the node version so this is the version currently i'm using from my project and uh, so already I have been to my folder, I have created my folder electron.js inside this I have added this uh, module which I have developed for my use and I will introduce in details when I use this mod in my project okay so let's begin so once you have installed this uh, node then you can use the node package manager that is npm to install the any um, any module which is uh, supported and which is exposed by the node.js so one of the package and the other you can say module that is electron and which is used to help which is used to develop the desktop application so i'll install that so npm install electron and it is uh, global so i want to install the electron global so you can run this command to install the electron global so it will take a couple of minutes uh, based on the uh, based on the internet speed on your system connected so it is, you can see it is about to complete now so it is completed once you have installed that you can check the version of the electron it installed it is displaying here also but uh, using the command called electron double hyphen version it will show the version of the electron installed in my system so you can see this is the version i have installed now i can use this electron which is will be saved in my uh, system now i can use this in my project so to begin the project uh, let's let me create the another folder inside this folder and for inside that folder uh, we'll use the uh, we'll set up the project so first like make directory create me a folder that is four year hyphen series and you can see the folder is created for me we'll go inside this folder and inside this folder we'll add the couple of files that is minimum files which we need so for, to start that first we have to create the package to, the, to do that we'll use the npm init and uh, there's two ways to do, do that one is uh, npm init when we'll call then it will ask the parameters in the uh, JSON package which will be created it will ask here only in the interface but when we use the init I, a space hy uh, hy hyphen y then it will skip those steps and it will create with the default value so i don't want that i want with the command line interface whatever the value i want for the package i want to enter here only so i can i will i will i have called by npm in it you can see it is displaying the package name as a fourier hyphen series the version of the package will be 1.0.0 the description you can give your own description so you can see four year series animation as a description and the, yeah the entry point is very important here so this will be the main js file for the uh, electron desktop application uh, from this uh, uh, js file it will render your it will render the application entire application so you can give any name as a entry js entry entry point js file so i'm giving the name as main.js and the test command you can give any if you want and then git repository you can give keywords you can give and author if you can give you can give the your name or if you're working for some company you can give that one so uh, the, the, it, once it is all the parameters are entered then it will show the sample like uh, this will be the content of your package or json so if it is right so you can say yes you can see as soon as you will enter then you will see one package or json is created for me 
once it is done now we we can uh, we can install the electron which we have just now installed in the globally for from that I, I can install into my folder in this project so I will use npm install electron electron hyf double hyphen save and double hyphen save exact and you can see once uh, it is done it will take some minutes and uh, then it will be added it will add the one folder called node underscore module inside that you can uh, you can access the electron components once it is completed so now you can see the electron I have added now I want to add the couple of files the one of the file is called my main.js which just now added into my uh, package.json so we'll create that so I will use the touch command so touch it is main.js if in your system touch is not working then you can install that too so the command is npm install a space then uh, touch uh, dash cli command interface uh, hyphen g which will make you uh, which will install the touch command interface in your system so so once it is done then you, by using the touch you can create any files um, yeah, with the command so now uh, i have created the main.js i want the one more html file that will be the fourier dash series dot html and this uh, this file so it's not fun okay i didn't add the touch so touch fourier dash series dot html okay so you can see the fourier iphone series html file is also created so this file will be the my main window file okay in the for the desktop and inside this file will render our this uh, fourier series animation so we have created so let's do the one more thing uh, we uh, since uh, this animation i will be using the my separate uh, uh, javascript that will be my custom javascript right so for that i'll, I'll add the another folder and inside that folder i'll place those js files so let's make the make a directory that is js inside this js uh, i will add the my files so let's go to this folder js and then create the file May, and this is fourier series dot h dot js so you can see inside this folder well, i have one file for your series we'll edit that later but before that uh, we uh, have mentioned this is my model so this model also i'll i'll ca cut from here and i'll put into my i'll put into my this uh, js folder so my all components are ready now you can see once we have this uh, let's edit the project uh, i'll use the code space start to open this project into the vs code so you can see the project has been opened in the VS code and yeah let's uh, edit now so first we'll edit the package.json so instead of test with the command we I want to uh, start I want, I want it as a start and a start and then um, to change it as a electron so we'll make the command as electron dot so meaning is that uh, when you run this pro when you run, th run this uh, project using the command then you can use npm start and when you call this then it will go it will call the electron dot and then from dot it will call the main.js and from there it will render the application so this is uh, it is done here and you can also see the once we have added the electron uh, module here you can see the dependencies also added here so everything looks fine in the json now and also uh, we have created the main.js uh, you can see here it is there now we'll edit the HTML file. So let's add the HTML tag and uh, the uh, the title I want as a Fourier series. Okay, and we'll go inside the body. Uh, first, let's add the canvas element. Uh, inside this canvas, we'll render the animation, and uh, we want the script tag also because. Uh, uh, here uh, we will link whatever the uh, the custom on uh, this file we created right uh, for our uh, for our logic so we'll we'll write, we'll add this file to this uh, HTML page so let's do that so type will be the model uh, why it will be model because uh, inside this uh, JavaScript I will import the components from my uh, custom model which I have created from that so that's why the type of this file should be the model then the source will be the uh, JS and then once again so the dot JS slash then it is for your series so you can see it is added now 
so the HTML part is completed now let's move to the main.js so this is very important so uh, when we have the uh, first component thing is like uh, we have the electron so let's uh, get the electron from the module so I'll take constant electron module and that will be the the required and this will be the electron uh, once we have this from this uh, electron module uh, we'll extract the component called app and the browser window equals to electron mode so meaning is that uh, from this module I want the two module as imported that is app and the browser window the use of this one is that uh, when you use the uh, app then it will handle all the events in the browser window and the, this browser window is the uh, model which will helps to help help you to create the uh, window of the interface for the interface it will create the window for that and app will handle the events or uh, what we when we interact with that window so that's why I have imported these two. We'll have a lot of COM module uh, inside this um, if you'll develop the extensive application. Since I want the very simple one, so I, I can, I, I, just, I just need minimum these two models from this. Along with that, I need the uh, path module and that will be the from required and it is path. And the, I need the URL model also, constant URL equals to required and is required and then it is URL yeah so we got this uh, all the required components uh, which I need uh, for my uh, this one animation so let's take the variable called window object and we'll set it as null and we'll create the function uh, function to create the the browser window or the application window okay and let's take the function and this will uh, this will be the uh, create a window okay and set this folder uh, we will set up this window for using this browser window we'll create the window so it is window object window object equals to new um, browser window browser window and it will uh, it will we can have a lot of parameters you can give so like width so if you want uh, what are the width of the browser window you you want so say i want around 800 pixel the height it will be say around uh, uh, 600 pixel or 550 pixel okay uh, along with that uh, you will have a lot of components like uh, um, uh, like a uh, min minimum width minimum height whatever you, you need and the if you want to set the title you can see if you're not giving title in the HTML here you can give it from this and a lot of components we have here so I just need minimum these two components um, so this will be a very simple one so I have added now and once it is done uh, once we have set the width and height then it should load right it should load from what location it will load so we'll add that one so window object dot load url and this will be the url dot format and this will be the path component of uh, which we have path module we have imported then it will be join and then you can we have the uh, it will directly and double underscore diet name it will give the directory of the folder uh, this directory it will give when uh, where we are how the project is located from this directory i want to add this four year dot four year dot html as my main window so we can join that one uh, with the directory so directory then four year four year hyphen series dot html so it is added now you can see okay so it is done uh, once we have this, uh, we, we, we need uh, one more component. So suppose uh, we want to debug the application, uh, then we can uh, we can add the dev tool. Um, so like window object dot uh, uh, wave component dot open dev tool. So you can add that one. Later on, I will comment this. I don't need this uh, just for the, uh, 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 just to show you that I'm adding this one. Okay, and then when our window is closed on, so we can on means it will go, it will give all the events. So one of the event is called close. And when it is closed, then I will call this function. And inside this function, uh, once all the, this window is closed, then window object will set back to null. 
okay so the uh, create create function create window function is completed so let's add the app event when the our app is ready then uh, we uh, then i want to create the window so let's call the create window function okay and when our app is uh, uh, on we have the other events called close all window so close all window so when all the window of the application is closed then what we should do so uh, ideally we'll close the application right so it depends if you are which operating system you are using if you are using the mac then you can check so you uh, have to call we have to close it uh, explicitly so it is uh, uh, process dot platform so when the platform is uh, equals to darwin means it will give the mac os then you can app dot quit you can call and it will close the application if we are using the system i mean windows application then you uh, windows operating system then you will get you will get the win32 as a platform so uh, for that darwin you can give this one okay and then uh, one more thing uh, if suppose your application is reactivated then again you want to get the uh, uh, window right so let's add that event also so on if it is activate then we'll uh, we'll act we'll get the window back right so so this will be arrow function okay fine so inside this we'll check first of all our window object should be the null then only we'll create and then create browser window so this is done so our main chess part is completed whatever we need so uh, let's test it if it is working so for that I, we can use this uh, as a normal command but instead of that i'm using the okay uh, i'm using the terminal uh, which is which is coming with the uh, vs code so to test that we'll use the uh, npm start uh, which is uh, we have configured in the json so when you give this command it will open the project yeah you can see the uh, it is rendered and this this component is dev tool uh, dev, as a dev tool which we have added in the window here so you can see in the main .js, we have added this line this comp uh, this web content or dev tool that is why we are having to debug the application so uh, if you don't want then you can simply come in this line on the load of the application so i don't want that now so you can see so this is my means application setup is completed now let's go and change the our animation change, uh, so for that uh, we'll go to the Fourier series and here the first thing i'll do is i'll import my component and that is uh, dot you can see uh, this is my model name dot js and the component is uh, and the from that so first you can see yeah so this model what i have done is um, i have taken the one the one class uh, and inside the class i have the constructor and the constructor using the constructor i will create the object of this class and inside this i am passing the canvas element and this canvas element uh, this constructor will set the canvas and the context and using this uh, uh, canvas and context i can draw the lot of object basic object i have uh, like you can see the uh, we have the circle line triangle and if not with the fill only you can draw the stroke with the lines also you can draw that so so meaning is that uh, in this you can see when you do the context using the from the canvas you will get then you will do a lot of time like begin path then context field act field path and then you close path like this you will be doing so to eliminate uh, to eliminate those stuff i have created this model so only what i need is i just need to call this function and pass this parameter and then it will set up this thing for me on the canvas so it is pretty simple and this below you can see it is exporting that class and with this name we, we need to import the in in your uh, javascript file so I, I will add this uh, I, I will add this uh, file in the link and if you need you can use this one in your project so let's begin so here I'll I need this I need this name here to import so it is done so let's take the constant variables and that is canvas because to create the instance of this we need the canvas first so let's take the constant 
uh, canvas canvas equal to document dot get element by id and the id name is canvas you can see in the html file here so it is the uh, id is canvas got it so uh, let's uh, create the object and that is canvas 2d graphics object equals to new canvas uh, graph 2d graphics object and you can see it is expecting the canvas element so we'll pass canvas so our canvas is set so canvas 2d graphics object is set now let's set the width and height so width equals to say window dot inner width and the height equals to window dot inner height okay once we have this uh, let's uh, set uh, let's initialize the width and height of the canvas so canvas dot width equals to width we have got okay canvas dot height equals to height and the background color of the canvas i want in the black color so dash hash fff and then so this this is completed so to check that uh, you can use the command npm start uh, we have some problem we'll check we'll in the debug Uh, let's close this oh since we have given white color that is why the canvas is in the white color we can't see so let's close this and change the color background color as 000, zero as a black color and restart this again and so we'll call okay so uh, start the project again so npn start yeah you can see the the background of the uh, canvas is the black color and when, once you reload this it will fit into the entire browser window because uh, the uh, window components is not supporting here you can't give like a windows dot inner width it is not supporting so we have to give some hardcore value here so i have taken the 800 pixel width and 550 pixel as a height okay but in the uh, when you write the custom uh, javascript there you can access the window property and uh, this is what i have done so you can see i have some margin in the left side that is why i have the horizontal scroll bar so let's remove that margin so what we'll do a uh, win window uh, document body will have will give you some default margin around 8 to 10 pixel so we'll eliminate that one so we can use here uh, document dot uh, body dot style dot margin that is equal to zero i don't want any margin and you can reload this you can see now i don't have horizontal bar but i still i have the vertical one so what i'll do for that i'll remove from the height say around 20 pixel and let's reload this yeah now i don't have the vertical uh, scroll bar and don't have the horizontal scroll bar so inside this we will draw the animation so to draw that uh, you can see for this one so uh, at this center position i want to transfer to at this location and then i'll draw that one so let's begin that one now first so first of all take the variables And this is uh, let uh, the theta uh, that is equals to zero. Why it is? Because you can see in the animation. So this theta is multiple of this number, and we will take that two also as a variable. And then uh, so this that is why this theta will be incrementing, and, and based on that the uh, the animation plot will happen. So this theta I have taken, and this is the initialized with zero. Okay, and then I need one more one more variable that is y position array. Okay, and what we'll do with this is um, when we get the value of this uh, this component, then I will store into the array, and uh, from that we'll plot the animation. So for that I need one uh, variable here. Okay, so let's create the another function. Uh, function uh, draw Fourier series. Okay, and so function Fourier series okay 
and inside this uh, let's take the variable x equal to 0 and the y equals to 0 okay and let's take the other variables say let uh, circle radius otherwise first and let's initialize the n n equal to 1 I want the draw for the first circle so n equal to 1 let the circle radius is equal to you can see the uh, the product of this 4 divided by pi then we have 4 divided by 3 pi so this will give the amplitude thing right the then we multiply with this one so let's do that and so for this uh, we'll take this circle radius equals to 4 divided by n times n times math dot pi so I have this component you can see uh, it should be circle So this is circle radius and this you can see the uh, this is 4 divided by 3 pi 4 divided by 5 pi so this uh, 1 3 5 7 these are the n values so I have taken n as 1 so this is for one circle for this one and uh, 1 divided 1 into pi so method or pi already I have multiplied so this component will be very uh, small so let me add with uh, let me multiply with some uh, constant factor so it is 80 times say 80 times the 4 divided by n into pi we got this and then we get the x value so x plus equals to uh, circle radius and this is uh, so let me add this first uh, and the cosine of uh, uh, n times the theta and the y plus equals plus equals circle radius uh, times math dot sine of n times theta and what are these is uh, we can see when uh, this plot is happening right the point on the circumference this is the polar points right so from from the Cartesian when you transfer to the polar then the x position is given by the radius times the cosine of the degree at what it is the position is and the y position is given by the radius times the sine function of the degree or the theta so uh, this that that is what we have we have got here the polar points of x and y position you can see uh, then once I have this uh, first I need to put that into the array the y value right so let's do that so the y position array dot unshift I'll use the unshift unshift what it will do is it will add the y value always at the first position and for the first position we will draw the animation you can see when when it is plotting here right this uh, this point here so this is coming always from the first position so for that uh, I, I'm using that one so it is done so now let's create the function uh, let's first create the axis I want to create the axis from here to last so it means from here this point I want to the last one axis here so for that uh, draw axis and uh, for that uh, let's uh, transfer the position of the canvas so currently the uh, context of the canvas is at this point so 0 comma 0 now I want uh, somewhere at this position so total width whatever of the canvas I have divided by 3 it will give somewhere position this one and the height will be height by 2 so I want the coordinate x comma uh, 0 comma 0 here at this position so I will transfer that so before that uh, you will use canvas object uh, graphics object dot first I'll save the couple current context and canvas object canvas object dot translate and the position will be the total width divided by 3 and the height will be the total height divided by 2 so it is translate and once it is done I'll restore that so canvas object dot restore and inside that we will be doing our logic so let's copy this okay so done so uh, why, uh, why also shift uh, means unshift we have done now draw the axis so the will use the canvas animation object now we'll use the fill uh, fill uh, fill line we have otherwise no sorry it will have the stroke line since line we'll just draw will not be fill so it will be a stroke line so 
stock line and then you can see it is ask, asking the x naught and y naught and x1 y1 from which two points it will connect so the uh, when we have transferred the context uh, to this location then uh, this point will be 0 comma 0 and the end point will be the this end point and the height will be again the position will be 0 so let's do that so it will be 0 comma 0 and the and the length will be so uh, total width what we have uh, minus width with y3 and then y will be the 0 and you can see if it is and one more thing so you can see we have the other properties with that you can see the uh, stock color what color we want so you can I want say in a white color and the line width say I want in the 4 so once it is done let's check if it is working so for that we have to call this function so to call this function I'll create the another function say function that is function animation okay and that is function animate Fourier series okay and we'll inside this uh, before we do any plotting let's clear the canvas background right so canvas dot clear canvas and the position will be x comma uh, 0 comma 0 then the width of the canvas and the width height of the canvas once I have uh, once we have clear let's call this function for your series and uh, uh, we'll use the animation using the request animation frame and for this the callback function will be the animate for your series and below we'll call this function once So let's check if it is working fine. So we'll reload here. Yeah, so my axis is drawn here. And with this axis, at this, at this point, I want to draw one circle. You can see uh, we have this circle, right? So I, we will draw this one now. So below this here, draw circle. Circle, so and this will be canvas animation object. And this also we want we don't want the fill type we want the stock type we want the line of the this line type right this line type so i'll i'll take the stock type so a stock uh, circle and the position will be the 0 comma 0 and the uh, radius will be the circle radius which we have got by uh, you can see in the top we have calculated it this is the circle radius we'll will pass that one and then and then the start angle it will be 0 and the end angle 2 times math dot pi it will be entire circle and the direction you can take any true or false and the color I want in the white color and the line width say I want uh, 3 pixel or 2.5 pixel so let's check if the circle is drawn here we reload yeah my circle is drawn here now so now what we'll do now you can see we have the one point which is rotating on the circumference of the circle so let's draw that so we'll go to our code and below this uh, we'll draw point on the on the circumference and this will be canvas object dot this time it will be fill circle because i want the dot here so it will be x uh, x uh, sorry it will be zero uh, yeah it will be x because uh, we have we have found the uh, x and y position that is polar coordinate right uh, uh, from this uh, uh, for this value with the theta value right so this point will be the on the circle on the circle so let's do that so this the x position will be x comma y and the radius say i want uh, 4 and the start angle 0 it should be complete circle so 2 times math dot pi and the direction you can take any and the color I want say in white color okay so let's check and uh, if it is fine yeah point is drawn here but it's not moving because we have not increased the theta value so let's go to the animation function and before we call the animation let's increase the theta value so plus equals say 0 0.03 okay so it will increment the theta value with 0 0.03 radians okay so let's check now yeah you can see the point is rotating on the circumference okay now this next part is uh, we will connect from center to this point right this line we will draw now 
So let's do that. We'll go to this uh, this and below, and below we'll draw the draw the uh, draw the line from center of circle to a point on circumference. Okay, so it will be canvas object and dot it will be a stock line since we'll draw the line so it will be a stock line and the position will be zero comma zero then the end point will be x comma y and the say the color i want in the white color and the line with say i want to i want the narrow line so you can check once it is done we'll reload this yeah you can see the line has been drawn so now i want the next part so i want to draw this line so you can see this is the plotting line right and with this line it is plotting the graph so i want this line so for that what i will do now um, uh, first let's uh, uh, since uh, the, uh, for our, in our case the plotting line it will come till here right some x offset right from this point and from here we'll draw the animation right side so we want the translate our canvas from this position to somewhere this position and from this position we'll connect back to this uh, x and y x and y position which is rotating point right we'll connect with that so let's do that so first uh, uh, translate the con canvas uh, i mean uh, canvas context okay and then it will be can uh, canvas object uh, before that we'll save the current context and then canvas canvas object dot uh, translate and the position I want say 250 pixel right side and the y position I don't want to change the y position I don't want to change I want the y position same but the x position I want this location this is done and before after that we'll restore that so canvas object dot restore and then we'll inside this between this we'll draw the our uh, components which we need so so let's give some space Okay, and let's draw the plotting line. Okay, so canvas uh, animation object dot, it will be a stroke line. And then the position will be x minus say 250, whatever the offset we have taken, it will be the y position. And then the, uh, it will have the next coordinate, uh, it will connect to zero. And the y will be the, uh, what were the first, uh, we have unsafe here, right? we have on shift here right so this will give the first element which will insert whatever we have the y value at it will insert to this array from this array i want the first uh, first index i mean first position value so it will be y position of zero and you can see other components if the color i want in the white color and the width say i want uh, 2.5 okay so let's check if it is working fine yeah, you can see the my plotting line has been drawn here, right? It is uh, moving as per the x and y position, right? And with this point, I want to draw the curve now, right? So let's do that. So for that, uh, so when will ha uh, when the theta will increase, the, you can see the all the y position is pushing into this array, right? So uh, we'll loop through this array. So we'll take a, a draw the curve, and it will be the four let i equals to zero i is less than the y position array dot length and i plus plus and uh, it is uh, uh, so dot the draw the point point of of curve okay so it is uh, uh, to draw that i'll take the small point and that point will be plotting for all the y value so do to do that we'll use the canvas object dot fill circle and the position will be the x comma y the and the it will be the uh, it will be the i and the if for all the elements of the array so y position array of i and the radius say i want four pixel and the start angle zero end angle two times math dot pi and the direction you can take any any for true or false uh, then i have the fill color say i want white okay. 
So let's check if it is working fine. Yeah, you can see the my curve is plotting, and this is the this is these are the circles plotting very closely together, and this is this is uh, plotting as a graph. So this is uh, we have achieved for one circle. Now we'll do for the n number of circles. So for that, let's take the variable called number of circle. Number of circle, and say I want as of now four. Okay, and uh, once we have this, uh, let's take the array of a number of loop for the number of uh, circle we have. So let i equals to zero, i is less than number of circle, and i plus plus. And for all these circles, we'll draw this animation. So we'll copy from this point to the end of this one, and we'll put inside the for loop. Uh, let's format that okay so all aligned okay so we have done now uh, inside this for loop so now our n value will be changing you can see the n values are in the one three five seven these are the odd values right to get the odd value, so what we'll do, we'll multiply i by times 2 and then plus 1. So it, this will give the odd number of the for i, I number of index. So when i is 0, then I will get the n equal to 1. When i equal to 1, then I will get the n number as 3. And then it, it will keep on going like that. So and so we, n value we have set up. And now we'll check since the plotting will happen for the last circle, right? Uh, whatever the last circle you can see here whichever the last circle is there for that the plotting is happening so the uh, the uh, in the array we have to take the value for the last circle so if i is equals to equals to the number of circle minus one why i'm taking minus one because we have not given here equal to we are taking we are taking less than so the the maximum i value will be the number of circle minus one so i'll take this one and we'll put this inside this loop okay so this is done we'll move to the next part you can see uh, this line this line is connecting right and this line is connecting for the last circle too so again for drawing this line also we will uh, take the last circle condition so we'll go below and we are drawing somewhere here here right so th from this part uh, we will take if i is equals to number of circle minus one and inside this, we'll put this logic. Let's format this. And also, uh, when we have number of circle, then you can see the um, this x and y position will be the uh, center position of the next circle, right? Uh, and again, we'll get the xy position of that second circle that will be the center position of the next circle. So we will we have to keep the record of the previous uh, x and y position. So let's take that one before calculating this. So let's take the another variable, say let uh, previous x, previous x equal to x, and the previous y, y equals to y. Uh, we'll set this and uh, and wherever we have zero except this the line we have on the axis uh, will replace all the zero with previous x previous y and uh, for this also a stock line previous x and the it will be the previous y It is done. So let's check if it is perfect. So let's reload the our animation. Yeah, you can see I have four number of circle and it is plotting accurately. So to see the smoother, so you can change the time graph here, time as say 0 0.01 with a small radian. I want to incre increase. So I'll reload this 
and you can see yeah this is the plot and you can see I have four circle and whichever the last circle is there for this point it is drawing the animation and also if you want to close the uh, this x coordinate so you simply just have to go to the uh, loop here where we are drawing and this i position you just multiply by some factor say 0 0.5 and you can reload this yeah you can see now the x position i mean is uh, constructed fine so this is done and uh, since now we want this uh, kind of animation we, when you see when n number is in the series then we get this sort um to so means uh, Sawtooth wave, right? So for that, what we will do, instead of giving the n as a as a uh, as a uh, odd number, I want the n as a series numbers. So for that, let's take i plus one, and this will be the series number. And with this n equal to i plus one, we'll give we'll get the sawtooth wave. So you can see here when we we'll reload this, you can see uh, this is plotting since we have very less number of circles so this is the plot so what we'll do we'll increase the number of circle say i want 40 circles here okay and also you can see if if you are if you are seeing that this is moving in the anti clockwise direction right so to change this our animation in the anti clockwise direction you just have to change the theta value as minus equals to 0 0.01 and we will reload this again you can see yeah this is my plot with the 40 circles and you'll get almost uh, sort of wave so this was the animation guys and uh, thank you for watching this video